Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green for the Game Boy Advance Part 9. And in the last part, we finished off the Vermilion City Gym Leader, Lieutenant Surge, got ourselves our third badge, and we defeated a ton of trainers too, and now we're about to fight more. So let's switch Charmeleon in front of Weeping Bell, and battle this camper guy. Who is that walking there with those good-looking Pokemon? Hey, these are my good-looking Pokemon. Are yours good-looking? I guess we'll find out when we fight. Camper Chris would like to battle. And he has a Growlithe, oh dear god. Go Charmeleon. And of course I'm gonna get hit by that annoying Intimidate. God, I hate that move. Anyways, let's dig and hope we get a crit, because I probably won't one-shot it now thanks to that Intimidate drop. But I can always hope for luck. Aha, missed Leer. And let's strike this Growlithe down. Come on, wipe it out. Damn it. Of course I fall short. And Ember's not going to do much at all, so I'm not too concerned. And it won't burn me, since seeing as I'm a Fire-type myself. So really, nothing to worry about. Cut, and go away. Permanently. Who is next on my list? We have a Charmander. Okay. I think I'm going to use Jigglypuff for this fight. Go, go, Jiggly. Jiggly! Piff! There we go. Bring out your Charmander to get spanked. Or double slapped. Anyways, save the slot 9, because we're going to go for a Mega Kick. And stupid Charmander trying to lower my attack. Arg. Hit the Mega Kick. Yes. 120 base power stab move in the face. And your growl didn't save you, Charmander. Alright, defeated Kemper Chris. Hooray. Out like a light. Couldn't have said it better myself, buddy. Okay, let's go up here now and fight this bug guy. First, let's whip up. Alright, Charmeleon's in front. Good. That's where I wanted him. I got up early every day to raise my Pokemon from cocoons. Uh, I got nothing snazzy to say to you, so I'm just gonna beat you into the ground. Bugcatcher Brent would like the battle. Beedrill. I think I get its point already. Eek. Ember. Those pin missiles look very, very menacing. And I got a nice crit on Beedrill, even though I didn't need it. Ember would have one-shotted it regardless. It's got crappy defenses. Hey, level 34. Awesome. We might very well get Charizard in this LP part. Hey, Flamethrower. Very nice. Hell's freaking yeah. We're getting rid of Ember, man. Goodbye. Let's get Flamethrower. I'm loving this. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yay, we learned Flamethrower. Charmeleon just got more epic. And now we got Beedrill. Let's test out our Flamethrower, shall we? 95 base power stab. Gotta love it. We're gonna completely rinse this thing. Or just completely... Incinerated, I should say. Super effective. Goodbye, Beedrill. Back to the beehive in the sky for you. And Bugcatcher Brent is done. What? What a total waste of time. Yes, it was a waste training a weak bug like Beedrill. Anyways, uh, let's go over here now. See what we got. Ooh, a lot of grass. See anything here? Aha! One ether. Alright, we can restore one of our PPs later. Aw, oh, crap. It's a random battle. No! And we got a Sanju. You know, I'm kind of contemplating maybe... You know what? I think I'm going to get a Sanju again. Let's see. Um, I think we're going to get Sanju for our fourth Pokemon. Let's see. I'm going to... Uh, what move should I use to not kill him? This is... Uh, you know what? I'm just going to try and throw a Pokeball and catch it. I'm just going to do it that way. Down in B. Hopefully we don't have to weaken it. But I probably will have to. I was originally going to go for Rhydon, but I think we have to get him in the Safari Zone, and knowing my luck, I probably won't catch one there. So, I'm better off trying to get this sand through. So I'm going to do that instead. And let me save until, in case I fail with all my Pokeballs. I'm just going to keep throwing them, as all my other moves are going to one-shot it. Come on, stay in the ball. Ugh! Damn it! Come on, sand through. Oh wait, actually he's using Defense Curl, so I could probably use Cut and Weaken it. Cut should not one-shot it now. If I do about half, that'll be good. Oh wow, didn't do anything at all. Alright, I guess I can start weakening him a bit more then. We'll do like two more cuts. Hopefully that'll be enough. And of course I get poisoned. Thank you, game. Oh, I hate you. Freaking getting poisoned. I hate it, I hate it. You know what? Screw it. We're loading state. I don't want to get poisoned right now. Hey, get back in the uh, battle here. Ay, ay, ay. Cut. Now that I know Cut won't one-shot it, I'm going to try and weaken it. I'm 
try to go for one more cut. Or two more, or maybe three, I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna try and go for one more. I don't think I should need to weaken it any more than that. I just hope I don't crit it. Alright, good, I didn't. Go ahead, sand attack me, I don't care. I'm not attacking you anymore anyhow. Alright, let's get the bag and catch our fourth Pokemon. Pokeball, go! Wee! You are mine, Sandru! Alright, we got him finally. Sandru was caught. Hells yeah, we got Sandru. Alright, give a nickname to Capture Sandru. Nah, not now. Alright, folks, we got our fourth Pokemon. Yay! Yeah, I was gonna try to get Ride on, but I don't feel like trying to throw a million park balls or safari balls at it in the safari zone, so. I'll get a nice simplistic ground type. Anyways, let's see. Do I want to keep Charmaine in the front? Yes, I do. It's probably another bug catcher, so it makes sense. Go, my super bug Pokemon! Yep, I guess right. I think it'd be a wise idea to keep Charmeleon out in the front of the party for the rest of this part. It seems like the rest of this route has uh, bug catchers. Caterpie, are you serious? Oh my god. Time to roast you on the grill that is known as Charmeleon. Caterpie got roasted hardcore. And Connor has a Weedle next. And I think for Weedle, we're going to use... Hmm, Jigglypuff. Go, Jigglypuff. Hopefully Jiggly can level up to 28. That'd be nice. Alright, let's pound this Weedle to paste. And it didn't die. Crap. And it's using a string shot. Ew. Why are you shooting your seed all over me? And thank god I didn't get poisoned. And yeah, he got my pound through. And Weedle is done. Alright, next up we have a Venonat. Interesting. I think for Venonat I shall keep Jigglypuff out. Yeah. Might as well get Jigglypuff at level 28. Now let's save because I'm going to try and land a Mega Kick. I want to wax this Venonat. And it poisoned my Jiggly, you bastard. Ugh, I hate poison moves. And good Mega Kick hit. And Venonat's dropping like a bad habit. Useless crit. Would have taken it out anyway. And level 28. Nice. Alright, Jiggly. And Bugcatcher Connor is done. My bugs! Yes, back to the bug farm. Alright, let's see if I have a P.E.K.K.A. Berry or something to get rid of my poison status. Oh man, I hate freaking poison. I really do. And I don't have any... Crap. Only got stuff for Awakening and Paralysis right now. Oh, I don't have anything for poison. Come on. Damn it, I gotta go all the way back to the Pokemon Center. Thanks a lot. Oh, come on! Shoot, another trainer. I'm taking the Rock Tunnel to go to Lavender. I don't care. I got a Pokemon that's poisoned and I'm trying to heal. I don't need to bring it into battle against you now. Uh, really gotta freaking buy more antidotes. Flamethrower to stupid Rattata. Let's get this done quick. Hate to have to run all the way back to the Pokemon Center. But I have to, otherwise Jiggly's gonna faint the poison. Send through. Yeah, I'm gonna let Charmeleon just dissect everything. Flamethrower. Flame Royal everything. I like my Poke enemies Pokemon. Well done. Next up, another Sandshrew. And let's use Flamethrower again. And goodbye, Sandshrew. And what, this, what does this trainer have for his fourth and final? Ekans. Okay. Ekans is going down too. And of course, Intimidate. I saw that coming a mile away. Flamethrower again. Too bad I'm using a special attack, Ekans. You will not be spared. And we got 252 experience. Nice. Can't measure up. Clearly. And what do we got up here? Nothing. We're just gonna leap down here and back to the Pokemon Center. Because I need to heal up. 
Oh crap, I can't go back, are you kidding me? Uh Alright, well, maybe I can. Come on, I gotta heal my Jiggly quick. Oh, damn that trainer for poisoning my Jiggly. Wasting precious time. Come on, hurry up, heal up. Goddamn poison sting. Or poison powder, or whatever the hell it was that did it. I hope I don't run into any more poison types again, but I probably will, knowing my luck. Now, uh, let's hit the bike button. There we go. <laughs> Stop riding into the hill, you idiot. Oh yeah, yeah. Go through here. Come on, run, run, run. God, you can't run in the house. Run faster, come on. Hit the bike button. There we go. Cut this bush back down again. Ugh. No more poison trainers, please. I don't feel like having to go all the way back again to the Pokemon Center. It's not fun. Alright, we've got a rock trainer coming up, or a hiker guy. And I think Weeping Bell is going to wipe the floor with this dude, so let's use our Weeping Bell. Ha ha ha! Aren't you a little toughy? Alright, what's the name of this freak hiker? Hiker Bryce would like to battle. Sends out a Geo dude. Come on, Weeping Bell. Show this thing who's boss. Let's bind whip him to death. Goodbye, Geo dude. And Geo dude is finished. And next up, we got another Geo dude. No, thank you. Okay, Vine Whip, let's go. And another Geo dude falls prey to Weepin' Bell and his killer Vine Whip. Level 26, alrighty. And Hiker Bryce is about to send out Machop now. I'm not gonna switch. Weepin' Bell's gonna stay out. His poison side resists fighting type moves, so why not? Now we're gonna use Acid on the Machop. It'll do more than Vine Whip. Leer. Yeah, I'm not too concerned about that. And let's go back to Acid again. Spit some purple jelly all over his face. And Hiker Bryce is finished. What's that? Oh, actually I did his voice wrong. Oh well, I don't care. Uh, let's go down here, and I don't know who this camper's gonna have, but I'm gonna have Charmeleon out and ready. Why not? Oh yeah, for the next part, I'll be sure to have Sandshrew at the same levels as my other pokes. I'm gonna do some level grinding with them. Don't you dare patronize me! Uh, we never talked before, so how can I patronize you, woman? Picnic or Caitlyn would like to battle. And she sends out a Meow. Yeah, we haven't seen that yet. Alright, let's flamethrower this kitty. Goodbye, Meow. And we get 339. Awesome. Okay, Picnic or Caitlyn's done. No, you're too much. Yeah, you don't patronize me, woman. Anyway, let's go this way. Route 10, we're on. Hooray. Yeah, up in the grass here, you can find like a Voltorb and some other stuff. Uh, let's see. Let's go into the Pokemon Center, heal up again. Why not? Hey, I think this one of Professor's aides over there. I'll have to go talk to him. I hope he doesn't give me AIDS. Eek. <laughs> Thank you for waiting. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's talk to the people here. Hey, get over here. Stop walking away. A Nugget is totally useless, so I sold it for 5,000. That's good. The types of Pokemon match up differently with each other. Every type is stronger than some and weaker, weaker than others. Oh, TK, I've been looking for you. It's me, one of the ever-present aides to Professor Oak. If your Pokedex has complete data on 20 species, I'm supposed to give you a reward from Professor Oak. He entrusted me with this Everstone. So TK, let me ask you, have you gathered data on at least 20 kinds of Pokemon? Yes. Let's see. Uh-oh, you have caught only 7 kinds. You need 20 kinds. Eh, uh, I don't care for the Everstone that much, honestly. I heard that ghost haunt Lavender Town. Yeah, I really don't care about the Everstone. It just prevents your Pokemon from evolving if it does at all, so... Kind of useless. Because you could just press B to prevent them from evolving anyway. Let's fight this trainer. I've been at a, I've been out at a Pokemon gym a few times, but I always lose. It's because you suck. Ha 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 ha! Get my joke there. <laughs> Anyways, Picnic or Heidi would like to battle. Sends out Pikachu. Go Charmeleon. All right, let's hit this rat with a flamethrower and one-shot it. Sounds like a plan, man. 
Goodbye, rat. Yeah, if I end up fighting Pikachus in my future LP parts, oh man. Clefairy. Um, let's have Jigglypuff versus Clefairy. That sounds like a good matchup. I mean, we've seen it happen in the anime many times. Jigglypuff took out a whole army of Clefairies all by herself. She's too pro. Now let's save to slot 9 before we unload a Mega Kick into its face. Boom! Goodbye, Clefairy. You're owned, officially. Go, go, Jiggly. And Picnic or Heidi's done. Oh, after all my training. Yes, after all your training, you still suck. Okay, let's go into the cave now. Which is the Rock Tunnel. And this will lead us to Lavender Town. Oh, dear God, I think we need Flash in here because I can't see a damn thing. And something tells me I have not picked up Flash yet. Arg. Or maybe I have, I don't know. No, we didn't. Uh, you know what, I'm going to try to attempt to get through this area without Flash, so... It's going to be a little tough, so bear with me, folks. Oh, God. I'm probably going to need Flash because I really cannot see where I'm going. Wild Geodude appeared. Go, Charmeleon. And let's use... Dig. Why not? I dug a hole. Wild Geodude, use Mud Sport. And that's not going to do anything, seeing as I don't have electric-type moves. So you wasted a turn, Geodude. Should have went with a rock throw or something. Even though it wouldn't have done much because of my huge level advantage. Alright, I am think I'm going to speed this part up because we're going to be here a while, getting into a million battles, and I don't want to sit through any of them, so... Let's speed it up. Ah, crap, I just zipped right past that item I wanted. I'm just going to ignore all Pokemon fights and just try to get through this place as quick as possible. And it might take me the rest of this part, because I don't know where the hell I'm going, because of the lack of area, you can't really see where's what and everything. Zubat, don't care, go, go, go. Come on, speed it up. Yeah, let's run through this. Ah, oh, we got a guy here. Let's fight him. Pokemon fight, ready, go. Now we got some creepy Pokemaniac guy who thinks he's a Charizard. And he's got a Cubone. And let me unspeed for this battle. Frame skip, no throttle. All right, he's just flamethrower on the Cubone. Should one-shot it, hopefully. And Cubone does get one-shotted, yay. And Charmeleon's level 35. Awesome. One more level up and we get Charizard, folks. Alright, next up we got Slowpoke. And I think I'm going to use Weeping Bell. Go, go, Eggplant. <laughs> he really does look like an Eggplant. Anywho, here comes Slowpoke. Let's use Vine Whip. Should be able to one-shot it easily, I'm hoping. Not quite. Arg. And Water Gun. Yeah, that's going to tickle Weeping Bell. And now let's use Acid for fun. Acid should be able to finish it off. Goodbye. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, I forgot about Slowpoke's amazing physical defense arc. Hit it on the special side. Mind whip. Okay, Slowpoke is a goner. And now... Pokemaniac Ashton can go away. Game over! Indeed. Okay, back to full throttle again until we, uh... Run into another trainer. Because I really don't want to waste too much time. Urgh. And it looks like we are. Alright, skip the Zubat. I'm not going to waste time on it. Zubats are freaking common. They're everywhere. Gah! More damn Zubat! No, get out of there. Run. I don't want to fight it. Go. Eh, I should have bought some damn repels. Fortunately, a little too late for that. And I have to stay along the wall because I can't see anything. I really don't feel like getting Flash right now, so I'm not going to. I'm too lazy to go and find it. I'm just going to hope I'm going the right way. And Oh boy, there's a lot of rocks here. I might have to get Flash because I don't know where to go. I could be going the wrong way and I don't even know it. Oh, it's a trainer apparently. I draw an illustration of Pokemon when I'm home or here or I don't even see. Pokemaniac Winston will like the battle. All right, slow the speed down, please. Oh, my goodness. All right, Winston sent out Slowpoke. Go, Charmeleon. Okay, let's use Dig. Why not? All right, Charmeleon can take this Slowpoke out. I mean, I'm 10 levels higher, so Dig should do at least half damage. I'm hoping. 
might do a little less. Yep, figures. Because of its bulky de physical defense. Unless a stab that's not going to do a lot. Uh, fine, flamethrower. I don't care. The stab and awesome special attack is still going to hurt, even though it resists it. Ha ha ha. Okay. And Charmeleon gets another experience boost. Phew, I'm exhausted. So am I. So am I. Save to slot 9. And where do we go? Alright, can't go around that guy. Let's run straight ahead then. We're going this way. How about this way? Ah, it's another trainer. I don't often come here, but I will battle you. Hey, it's a female camper. Lovely. Picnicker Martha would like to battle, and she has an Oddish. Alrighty, Charmeleon. Time to roast this weed. Flamethrower. Flamethrower's gonna be overkill. I could probably one-shot a Vile Plume at this stage. <laughs> and Oddish is gone. And let me guess, Bellsprout for your last? No, Bulbasaur. Okay. Interesting choice. But Bulbasaur will fail. Just like your Oddish had. Super effective. Useless crit. Would have went down anyway. That crit wasn't necessary at all. And Picnicker Martha's done. Oh, I lost! Thank you for pointing out the obvious. Every other trainer says, oh, I lost, when they have lost. Oh, God. Yeah, let me put this back on full throttle again. Sorry I have to keep doing this, folks, but this place is annoying as hell. I want to get out of here as quick as possible. Geo dude, gonna skip it. Don't care for fight. Stop going to Pokemon. Go to run. Oh yeah, yeah. God, I just I can't see where I'm going in this place. It makes it really tough. I just have to hope I'm going down the right staircase. And clearly, I don't know if I'm doing that. Oh yeah, yeah. Come on, stupid Geo dudes, go away. Let's run up here now. I think I went the right way here. Let's see. Yeah, I expect a lot of random battles, folks. I don't have repels. I might have to leave this place, come back with flesh and some repels because I don't, I don't want to deal with this. This is freaking annoying. And I don't even know where the hell you get flash. I probably skipped it somewhere. You probably have to get it from one of Professor Oak's aides. Um, do you know about Pokemon cosplay? No. And nor do I want to cosplay with you, buddy. Pokemaniac Steve sent out Charmander. Oh boy. And back to No Throttle. And he has a Charmander. And I'm going to use Dig to one-shot it. That is a great plan. Charmeleon dug a hole. And Charmander missed its growl. Ha ha ha. And now we dig Charmander to his grave. Oh well, yeah, make your death noise and die. There we go. And next up we have Cubo. Kibon, Kibon, bow down, Kibon. Okay, let's flamethrower it. Come on, Charmeleon, unload with your flamethrower. Right to your big bone face. And 409 experience, yay. Steve is done. Well, that's that. Evidently. Okay, um... Ah, god dang it, I really hate this place. Why do you need Flash? I hate Flash. One of the most useless HMs ever. You only need it for stupid dark caves that you don't even know where you're going. Apparently this is one of them. I wish you didn't need freaking Flash, but you do. It's extremely hard to find your way out if you don't have it. I mean, it's possible to get through it, but man, it's really tough. Kill the Mankey. Okay, 169, good. Is there another stair? Come on! Damn it. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be getting out of Rock Tunnel in this part, folks. Probably in the next part. I'll have to come back with Flash and everything. Because uh, I have no idea where I'm going. I could be looping back to the previous staircase I came out of. That's how lost I am right now. Oh, it's another trainer. Hit me with your best shot! Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, no bad musical pun there. Anyways, uh, back to no throttle again. Hiker Eric would like to battle, and he sends out Machop. Which will easily be roasted by a stab flamethrower. So goodbye, Machop. Now you just fall over and bury your head in the sand. 
All right, who is next? Do we have an Onyx? Yes, I guess right. All right, Weeping Bell, time for you to shine again. All right, Weeping Bell, let's see what you're made of. All right, let's uh, vine whip this Onyx. It'll die in one hit, no probs. Onyx has crappy special defense. And it's got a quad weakness to grass, so no chance in hell. Hell, even a bullet seed can take Onyx out. Fire it away! Okay, and now let's save again. And put Throttle back up again, because God only knows how long this rock tunnel is going to last still. Let's go this way now. Hey, it's a ladder. Maybe this one will take us out of here. I don't know. I could be wrong. Hey, it's another trainer. Let's get Weeping Bell in the front, because this guy is probably going to have rock types and fighting types. Come on, Weeping Bell. This tunnel goes a long way, kid. I'm sure. And I think after we beat this hiker, we're going to call it an LP part, folks, because we're running low on time. Go, Geo... Oh, no, wait, no. He's supposed to say go, Geo, dude. I'm supposed to say go, Weeping Bell. All right, fine whip. One shot to Geo, dude. No problem. Hooray. Easy victory there. And Weeping Bell's level 27. Very nice. Okay. Hiker Lenny is about to use Geodude. We're going to keep Weeping Bell out. Let's one-shot all these Geodudes and get some nice experience. Useless crit. A crit on a Geodude with a grass move. Wall. That's all I got to say. Next, another Geodude. Apparently this hiker has all Geodudes, so... Yeah, Weeping Bell's going to mop the floor with all of them. And Geodude's finished. Okay, what is next? Another Geodude? Oh, it's a Machop this time. Alright, I think we're going to use Acid on this uh, Machop. Acid does more. Because of its higher base power. Eh, it did well over half. That's good. Come on, Weeping Bell. Hit him with another Acid. Finish the job. And Machop goes down. Hooray! And Hiker Lenny is done. Go, you win! Alrighty, folks, we're gonna stop it here, so stay tuned for Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green for the Game Boy Advance Part 10, when we'll hopefully have the Rock Tunnel complete. I might have to go back and get Flash, and I might get a couple repels, and I'll probably do some level grinding with Sandshrew, so I'll probably have all that done for the next part, so see you then, peoples.